am Sam, and you're listening to Gospel Tapes. 2 Timothy 2.8 says, Remember Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, the offspring of David, as preached in my gospel. I cannot stress enough just how significant this simple act of remembering Jesus really is. When the Apostle Paul says to remember Jesus, he's not just saying to think about him every once in a while and then let your mind be flooded by a million other thoughts that might cause you to sin, to worry, and stray you further away from God. Like, no, 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 no. To remember Jesus means to constantly be keeping him in your thoughts, meaning there shouldn't be a single day day or hour of our waking lives in which we quote unquote don't need to remember Jesus. We do need to remember Jesus, like all the time. And here's why. We need to remember Jesus so that we can more faithfully follow Jesus. And every believer is called to follow Jesus. But Jesus himself warns us that following him will come at a great cost. Because unless you are willing to count the cost and abandon all that you have, unless you're willing to deny yourself and take up your cross daily, then you can't really follow Jesus. You know, following Jesus sounds pretty good on paper to a lot of people, but very few actually start to let go of some of the things they've grown attached to in this world and even go as far as risk losing their lives for the sake of Christ. So then what will motivate us to follow Jesus fully no matter the cost? And the answer is found in the gospel. The gospel. Like, it's really that simple. Because it just begins with remembering who Jesus is and what he did for us at the cross. And the more we understand the depths of his grace for us, the more we'd be willing to risk losing our lives if it means we can have more of Jesus. I mean, think about it. If you're someone who thinks about Jesus often, it demonstrates that you prioritize him above everything else in life. Like you understand that there's so much more to this life than money, than sex, than drugs, entertainment, games, success, reputation, popularity, and, and, and you'd be willing to give up all of that to follow Jesus more closely. You'd be willing to count all of that as loss, as rubbish because of the surpassing worth of knowing Jesus and being in fellowship with him. Therefore, we need to remember Jesus so that we can better follow Jesus. However, the big problem we're facing today in doing that is that we've just become so distracted by everything in this world that we have lost sight of the wonder and beauty of Jesus as presented in the gospel. Like, we have to remember that Satan is the great deceiver, and he's doing everything he can to keep our minds off of Jesus and make everything else that's not Jesus look appealing. Because he doesn't want us to think about Jesus. Satan doesn't want us to follow Jesus. That's why earlier in the letter, Paul encouraged Timothy to be a good soldier of Christ, where he doesn't get entangled in civilian pursuits, but aims to please the one who enlisted him. Because Paul knew from experience that Timothy will be tempted many times to stop him from following Jesus. But he tells Timothy, like, no, 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 stay loyal to Christ, just as a soldier stays loyal to his commander, and be willing to suffer for Jesus, just as you remember how much Jesus suffered for you. But not only that, he wants Timothy to remember that Jesus is risen from the dead and the offspring of David, meaning that Jesus is the resurrected King to whom we serve and worship all the days of our lives. Does that make sense? Okay, so then how can we start to remember Jesus regularly? Well, first and foremost, I mean, I don't think we should neglect or give up on just the simple yet powerful practices of praying and reading the Bible, because we ought to be praying to God every single day to give us the strength we need to cut off any distractions and to keep our focus on Jesus as we pray to God and meditate on his word, which is where we can read about the person, the work, and the words of Jesus. Or, you know, for some of us, we might just need accountability, like just reaching out to a friend and asking, hey, can you just remind me to think about Jesus every morning? I mean, that might sound a little weird to some of us, but I don't see why it has to be, because you know this is what you need. But look, at the end of the day, the question you and I need to ask ourselves is this. What do we have to lose in order to gain more of Christ? Like, what are you willing to give up in your life in order to fix your eyes on Jesus to a greater degree, right? I mean, like, Jesus is worthy of all of our focus and attention. But if you were to really evaluate the habits of your life, could you honestly tell me that Jesus is really worth the time, the energy, and the focus to you. Look, I understand that there are like a million different things that we need to think about every day to just, you know, function in this world. You know, I get that. But above everything that we think about, Christ should be at the top because there's simply nothing more important in life than to just remember Jesus Christ. This has been your Gospel Tape. Thanks for listening.